The Grantham Climate Art Prize is an opportunity for young people to communicate messages that are important to them about the climate crisis. The winning designs are going to be scaled up by professional artists like myself into murals that will be appearing across huge walls and through tunnels in cities from Glasgow to Brighton and across London as well. The competition is open to anyone in the UK who's aged between 12 and 25 years old. Octopus Energy are going to be photographing these murals and they will be appearing on their outdoor advertising. There will also be some cash prizes and runners-up will have their works exhibited on the Octopus Energy website as well. You'll also be able to see these designs in natural history museums throughout the UK. This year's theme for the Grantham Climate Art Prize is really important. It's all about the links between biodiversity and climate change. We cannot fix one problem without fixing the other. By preserving biodiversity, we preserve natural ecosystems that sequester carbon for us. So by having cities that are harbours of biodiversity, we can support those protected areas while also enjoying the benefits of biodiversity for ourselves within the cities. When you're thinking about creating your artwork for this competition, what I'd like to encourage you to do is to really spend time outside. So really immerse yourself in your local wildlife. Spend as much time as you can observing it. Maybe take out a magnifying glass, get up close and personal, look at these kind of microscopic worlds within worlds, or spend time observing the, the birds in the sky and their flight lines. Get to know your local trees. Find out as much as you can about the species that are at risk in your particular area and see if you can spot them and engage with them in different ways. I think there's something really powerful and, and there's a lot of potential in, in creating these murals in us thinking about removing that boundary of, of nature being out there and separate and kind of really recognising that we are nature and we are part of the ecosystem. So when you're designing your murals, think about um, you might be working on a small piece of paper, but actually it's going to be scaled up in this huge space and people might be moving through this. So how do you want them to think and feel? There are so many species and habitats that are at risk from climate change right now in the UK and to list all of them would take too long. But just a handful of them, right now in terms of habitats, we're really concerned about wetlands and bogs such as the Manchester mosses. They support beautiful diversity of plants, sequester carbon to help against climate change and of course help support birds in the area. In terms of culture, there's beautiful species like the Nottingham catchfly, this beautiful little white plant that's named after Nottingham and is no longer found in the city. And of course, there's all of the songbirds, things like nightingales. We're also worried about huge numbers of species like bees that make a summer's day beautiful, but also that support the agricultural sector that help us eat. I think street artists have been invited to be part of this initiative because there's something very powerful about the images that surround us in our public realm. They say a lot about our values, what's important to us. And by working with young people, street artists are going to be able to create a platform for new voices to join the conversation around climate change and to spark conversations across communities throughout the UK. Some design techniques you might want to think about whilst you're designing your, your mural concept is to really keep in mind that this is going to be scaled up 10, 20 times, maybe bigger. So as much as you can, try and get into the headspace of, of walking through or walking past this design. How do you want it to make your passers-by think or feel? So. Do you want to be taking them into a completely different world? Perhaps you might play around with perspective. Perhaps you might play around with, with colour, because colour really influences our emotional response to a space. And bear in mind also that your passers-by will only have a few seconds to interact. Hopefully they'll stay and they'll want to contemplate the message and, and talk to other people about it but it might just be a few seconds so don't make it too noisy with with lots of different messages um, really focus in on one and as much as possible I'd recommend relying on visuals rather than text. There is loads that young people can do to help protect biodiversity but there's perhaps three things that they can do most. The first is to get involved in networks like the UK Youth for Nature, to get involved to help preserve and restore and conserve protected areas throughout the UK. The second is to get in contact with policymakers and write to them and say that the UK government's Dasgupta report that shows that biodiversity is vital for our economic health is something you think is important. And then the third thing, eat a little bit less meat. You don't have to go vegetarian, you don't have to go vegan, but just if each week you eat just a little bit less meat, that will have a massive impact on carbon emissions. I'm really hoping that this competition is going to mean that so many new voices are going to be entering into this space where we're talking about climate change. 
Yeah, I think that's a really good point to say, you know, it's about getting everybody working together because it's not just about what one person thinks or one particular group of people think and feel. We all interact with ecosystems and, you know, whether you're you're 12 or 112, the changes that we make now to ecosystems play out over decades. And so I think it's great to have everybody involved in this conversation now so that we can see those changes playing out in real time. I think this is an amazing opportunity for young people to share messages about climate change and biodiversity loss that are really important to them on an extraordinary platform through these street art commissions.